Well, welcome to uh, SLAS 2016 um, here at the CDI booth, uh, Cellular Dynamics International, uh, where we're uh, presenting a variety of different new tools to the screening and drug discovery uh, business. Um, one of the things that you'll find interesting uh, in this particular uh, event is that we've been known as a, with our, for our iCell brand, which is our normal healthy donor uh, IPS-derived terminal cells, cardiomyocytes, skeletal muscle, hepatocytes, cells that are used in drug discovery and safety testing. Um, now, however, we've introduced um, two new, new product concepts. One is our MyCell product, which is really the ability to take blood from any donor turn it into an IPS cell, and then produce in scale any of the cell types that I just described uh, that, are, that can be found in our catalog. In addition to that, we're able to leverage a number of IPS banks that are being generated. One in particular is uh, in the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine here in California has funded a bank of uh, 3,000 donors uh, that we are producing the IPS cells for. It represents 11 different diseases. And what's compelling about that is that now we actually have the ability to put disease into a dish based on the genetics of the donor. Um, it really opens up the areas of drug discovery, more so than just uh, testing on normal cells. So we can actually take you know, a patient with Alzheimer's or a patient with Parkinson's disease or a patient with age-related macular degeneration and put their iPS cells and then manufacture their terminal cells and put them into a dish, thus enabling disease research, drug discovery, um, et cetera. So um, I think that's one of the things that's uh, most intriguing about uh, the fact that these banks now are finally available. And one of the key elements Elements is that you know genetic information for each one of these individuals is known so it's not like uh, we've tapped somebody on the shoulder on the street these are people with rich clinical history uh, that have genetic information in some cases whole genome sequencing information so we can really get to the heart of the pathology of their disease and then represent that in a dish um, thus we, we can enable a lot of uh, the tools that you see here on the floor of SLAS to actually make them more predictive, more efficient and even better because we're now studying human biology in a dish as opposed to uh, a, a generic cell type or a cancerous cell line that is supposed to represent or be a surrogate uh, for additional uh, tests. Um, I think one of the other things that's interesting about this particular show uh, for us is that it's, it's one of our first uh, exhibitions as part of the Fujifilm uh, company. Uh, we were acquired uh, by Fujifilm back in May um, and uh, have, have been going through kind of the integration process and now we have not only the cellular dynamics brand but we also have all of the rich wealth of experience and innovation that's contained within Fujifilm as well uh, which is really exciting for us as a, as a company. So um, if I've said anything here today that you think is compelling I'd really uh, uh, compel you to go to our website uh, cellulardynamics.com find out all of the, the rich information that's available um, and I think one of the things I'm very proud of with our website is that it has a, a, a huge amount of information as to the application of these cells. We represent the biology, but really the interest, interesting thing comes from the stories that are generated by the use of these cells. What platforms they're being measured with, what compounds they're being tested, and we've taken the time to generate an application database that our customers can, uh, can scroll through and search so that they don't have to start from scratch um, in terms of using a, a particular platform. There's already a protocol, there's a, um, uh, even in some cases data analysis uh, recommendations to be able to get the most out of this product, because really that's that's what it comes down to is the, the use of the cells and how they represent human biology. So, thank you.